Stop the schema first, then the drug dealer, then the man of all. They like the fast money over here. Because the fast money, they got time. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you need to complain to them when they put the Only take you out on the weekend. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Nigel. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share, and hit the notification bell. Today, I have an interesting video I'd like to show. Is her her name is Pink Book Lessons, and this this video shows a prime example of why women make bad decisions when it comes to dating and who this type of fix in it. Let's skip it. And then a scammer, then the nine of five. I want the schema first, then the drug dealer, then the nine of five. They like the fast money over here. Because the fast money, they, they got time. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but Friday. But you just complain to them when they the two. Only take you out on the weekends. It's this mindset right here that's keeping a lot of women single. They don't want the average guys. They don't want the nine to five guys. They want men with fast money, flashy lifestyles, talking about women looking for that winter Santiago lifestyle. And I'm talking about winter from the coldest winter ever, written by a great sister, Sister Soldier. For the young ladies out there, there are consequences for chasing after that lifestyle. The same sort of consequences that Winter's family went through. This comes from the kickback hosted by DT Blackie. Shout out to him. Also, shout out to Johnny Intrigue for sending me this. Looks like this episode takes place somewhere up north, maybe New York City. But before we get into it, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. Click that notification bell for all updates. And if you're new, include new subscriber in your comment below and I'm gonna try my best to respond to all of you. The question here is, do you prefer a D-boy, a scammer, or a 9 to 5 man? Not gonna waste any time. Let's go ahead and get into it. What are the type of guys you prefer? Scammer, drug dealer, or 9 to 5? Drug dealer. I want him to move that way. I'm your pusher man. Uh, I'm trying to be on the YouTube. All right? You said but the world got a 9 to 5, but you really want to scam. The world knows 9 to 5, you know, a, a clean cut man, but like, yeah, I want to scam. I'm not going to lie to you. A drug dealer, I've been, I'd mess with drug dealers before. They don't make no money. They be broke. Drug dealer, 9 to 5, scammer. <laughs> Ooh, 9 to 5, scammer, drug dealer. I need a for money, so drug dealer is first. Uh, so she only with drug outside. dealers. Hello. She only with drug dealers. She only like the drug dealers. Remember that? Drug dealers. Remember that? Fellas, we a drug dealer, come holla at her. All right? Yeah, babe. Skimmer. Uh huh. Nine to five, drug dealer. This is a bad. Bro, you look jacked. But what about the. This is a bad. All right, I'm gonna say, I'm not gonna hold you. I'm gonna say drug dealer. Drug dealer first? Yeah. Okay. Nine to five scammer. Scammer nine to five drug dealer. Wow, that was quick. Oh, you had this planned out. <laughs> she had this planned out. She's an expert. She already, that's her whole model right now. Nine to five is more reliable, but scammer is gonna get you what you want. Do you got scammer right now? No. You don't got the nine to five? I don't have anybody. You don't got the drug dealer? I don't have nobody. Nobody. Can anyone in the comments tell us why? To clarify, he is talking to college students at Morgan State University and at University at Albany, New York. These are college educated women, your future psychologists, your future teachers, the future women working at the bank or financial services, nursing and pharmacy. This is what they like when they're 18, 19, 20, 21. They're not looking for good men. They don't want a man that's making an honest living. They go through their whole 20s picking the wrong men to be with, a lot of them getting pregnant by these men. So by the time they're in their 30s, they're walking around with babies from the D-boy. They walking around with babies from the scammers. But then that's when they circle around and they want the good men, really a good sucker, a good simp, that's gonna come save them from their horrible decisions, clean up all the mess. That's when they want the good man to come around and take care of the D-boy's kids because he's too busy in the feds doing an eight year, 15 year, 20 year bid. What a lot of people don't understand, really the simps, is that the good guy is the backup plan for these women. You're not option number one, you're plan B, just in case they couldn't get what they really wanted. You're plan B for when they're done getting used by a ran through what they really wanted. They come to you with all the baggage, they come to you with less value, and they want you to pay more. 
On top of that, they think they're running the show and they tell you what you're gonna do for them in order to get them. And they'll let you know they're not bringing anything to you. It's an insult for you to even ask them what they bring to the table or what value will they bring to your life. And that's an insult to them because they believe that they're the prize. And that really bothers me. They play around in their 20s and 30s and then when they're almost 40 years old or they're 40, they're looking for somebody to come and save them. And simps, stop saving them. They made these decisions in their lives. They messed up their own lives. Why are you coming to clean up their mess? They put themselves there. You didn't put them there. So why do you feel like you have to pick them up? The time that they're finally catching their karma, there will be simps there to go and give them a life jacket. Why are you giving them a life jacket when they're drowning? They're drowning because they jumped out on purpose. Why are you picking them up? And if you really care to help the next generation of women, give the life jacket to the younger women so that they are not at risk, so that they're not in danger. Instead of trying to fix up these people that can't be fixed, why not focus on prevention? You see all these women here making D-boys and scammers their first option or their best option? Hula vicious. Hey ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. I will have pink book lessons link in the description box below. And thanks for watching and be blessed.